Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 10. In this training module, we're going to take a look at setting up some advanced inputs with our sniper system. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our custom inputs using a Holly Super Sniper system. These custom inputs are going to allow us to wire in additional sensors such as oil or fuel pressure, an external map pressure sensor, or even a wideband gauge that's going to allow you to send a 0 to 5 volt out from the gauge to reference a different bank of air fuel reading. We know with our sniper systems, we only have one wideband sensor. This allows us to integrate a second just for monitoring purposes. So let's jump in here and take a look at how we're going to work with setting up our custom inputs for a super sniper system. And I do want to mention here, if you have a base sniper, you don't have the available inputs to wire in any additional sensors. So this video isn't going to apply to a base sniper system only to the super sniper systems that have the available inputs three, four, and five on the harness. Let's jump in here and take a look at where we can find our additional custom sensor inputs to start the program. So if we jump up here into our sensors ICF, I am in the offline mode right now. I haven't clicked on USB link to get online. I'm sitting in my vehicle right now and I have the ignition key powered on engine off, but I'm in the offline status. So we, in order to look at our sensor information here, we'll click on sensors. We'll notice that custom one, two, and three here are grayed out. We can't access them for any programming. This is what you'll find if you have a base sniper system. Now, if you have a super sniper system, we're going to be able to go and access and turn these on for programming purposes to bring these additional sensors into our sniper for logging or programming purposes. What we want to do here is go into our system ICF and make sure under our EFI parameters that our system type matches what specific sniper system we're working with. In my case, I have a super sniper four injector set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option. Now, when I do this, I'm going to have to go up here to USB link and I'm going to have to go here and do a send to ECU. This is going to send all the changes specifically looking at the system type to my sniper so it understands specifically what I'm trying to control, which will unlock our custom features. We can see they're actually unlocked right now. Now it's going to tell me I need to go and power cycle my box here in order for these changes to take effect. So I'll click OK and then click OK again here. And then I'm going to go ahead and power cycle. OK, so now that I've power cycled my box, if we go up here into our online, I can just go ahead and click this and then I can go back in here and look at EFI parameters and our system type here is going to be set correctly. So now my sniper knows specifically what system I'm controlling and more importantly, it's going to allow us to now access custom one, two, and three here. These are our custom available channels that we can wire in. So we've talked about in a previous training module, our basic sensor information. So map, coolant temp, manifold air temp, RPM, battery, and TPS. What we're looking for here is these additional inputs. So what we're going to do is go through setting up an oil or fuel pressure sensor, an external map pressure sensor and a wideband air fuel input coming from a zero to five volt output from a wideband gauge. And we'll get into what that means here in a little bit if you're unfamiliar with that language of talking about inputs. So let's jump in. Let's first take a look at setting up an external map pressure sensor. Now it's to note that all Holly Sniper systems come with an onboard two bar map pressure sensor so that it's going to allow you to read up to about 15 pounds of boost. If you want to go higher than that, you need an external map pressure sensor in order to go past that two bar or 200 kPa limitation scaling within the software. We don't want to turn the boost up and not be able to track it and measure it so that we can add additional fuel and pull additional spark timing out as we get up into this higher manifold pressure ranges. So in that case, if you have a base sniper, you'd have to upgrade to a super system of some sort here in the Holly sniper family. Let's go in here. And now take a look if we want to go and add an external map pressure sensor. So if we just quickly look at our manifold pressure sensor right here, we can see the factory here is scaled up. The factory onboard two bar is scaled up here to 210 kPa. If we're exceeding that in boost pressure or plan on exceeding that, then we have to go in and wire in an external map pressure. If we go to our EFI parameters and we look at our map pressure sensor, we can see that the map pressure is going to be looking at the internal sensor. That's where it's virtually pointed to look at the pressure sensor reading from. If we want to go and have an external map pressure sensor tied into our super system, we need to go in and turn on one of these custom options and then designate it as a map pressure sensor in the programming so that we have the option to actually select that virtually here. So it then looks at the external map pressure sensor that we would be wiring in. Let's look at how to do this real quick. It's really basic. What we're going to do is go to our custom 
And then thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.